Well, well. Seems you've finally come around. I believe congratulations are in order. You've officially passed the compatibility exam and are now ready to begin your life anew as a synthester. Now, now, try to stay calm. You did sign the contract, didn't you? Let's have a look at it, shall we? Pertaining to the experiments and business affairs of the organization, the signee, ah, that's you, does hereby agree to faithfully and willfully cooperate and participate in all assigned activities without... As compensation, the organization agrees to remit rare and valuable character goods, figurines and books per the signee's... Really, they're rather shady terms. It's a wonder you'd ever endorse such a document. <laughs> Hmm, that is true enough, I suppose. Either way, fortune has smiled upon you today, as you are the only one for whom this experiment succeeds. You, more than any other, overflow with desire. Your attachment to physical objects is stronger than I've ever seen. The others simply couldn't measure up. They were failures and were thus asked to leave, there to exist as the hunted. <laughs> no need to look so concerned. Perhaps I should tell you a bit more about the Synthesters. Synthesters are chosen beings, superhumans who exceed ordinary humans in terms of motor reflexes and raw strength alike. To fulfill their own desires, they exert a truly unfathomable power. One could even say their potential is downright infinite. There is a catch, however. They have a certain weakness to the light of the sun. It's their Achilles heel. You could almost think of them as man-made vampires, though without the unfortunate thirst for blood, of course. Everyone else in the room has undergone this same metamorphosis into a chosen being. They are the same as you. Hmm. You came for a job, no? Well, that's all I want from you. I need some part-time help, and you newly born synthesters are just the ones to provide me. Oh, it's nothing like what you're thinking, I'm sure. It's a simple job, something anyone can do. You're to attack the people wandering the streets of Akiba and absorb them. Master Zenya, we have a situation. I don't like the sound of that. What's wrong? There's an intruder in the building right now. An intruder? What happened to the guards? Can you move? Follow me. We're getting out of here. Subdue the intruder! Now! Yes, my master! Get 
Now is our best chance. Move. Damn. How dare you, like us? Do you truly expect me to let you escape so easily? You shielded me? Are you alright? How are you feeling? Good. I'm glad to hear it. Don't forget what I told you yesterday. Your body is extremely sensitive now. Exposure to direct sunlight could dissolve you completely. Keep a close eye on your clothing. D don't let yourself get stripped down. I doubt the men who attacked us yesterday will give up quite so easily. That's right. And if they find you, they're going to attack you. Of course, there are bound to be those who won't. But I wouldn't. <laughs> they're here. It's her! We found her! That filthy failure's with her, too! Let's smush them both! They're the same as us. Poor souls with a fatal weakness to sunlight. Run. No, that's... My mission is to fight them until they're subdued. You should be able to feel it too by now. Come. Join me in this battle. Fight. Ah! Kill 
Who's that? Broski! You're alive! I hadn't heard from you in three days. I thought maybe somebody chipped you off somewhere. Stare. Who's this lady? She's not part of the freedom fight. Saved your life. Oh, I see. 